Dolan's Farewell Fancy was originally written for lute and belongs to the genre of the chromatic fantasia. This denotes an imitative polyphonic composition that arose during the 16th century, usually in the tonal center of D, whose main subject usually consists of a fully chromatic descending tetrachord. One of the best known examples is Zwelling's Fantasia Chromatica, whose subject is this. So basically we have the tetrachord from D to A, and we use all the chromatic pitches that this tetrachord contains. Now, in Farewell Fancy, we have the exact opposite. In other words, we have a fully chromatic ascending tetrachord from A to D. And this sounds like this. It's an octave higher, but it's basically the same thing, just opposite ascending. So. So same tetrachord, this time D to A with all the chromatic pitches in between. Now this is followed by a counter subject that presents a descending minor tetrachord, which, and I hope I'm not reading too much into this, especially given its rhythmic profile, is pretty much identical to the main motive of Dolan's Flow My Tears. And we have to keep in mind here that a descending minor tetrachord was associated with feelings of sadness and despair. So right after the main subject, we have this counter subject. And if you harmonize it, I would say it's pretty much the same as Flow My Tears. So, very, very close, if not identical. It is fair to say that Farewell Fancy is relentlessly chromatic. The piece remains polyphonic throughout and is full of contrapuntal devices such as inversion, augmentation, and retrograde. For the latter, consider, for instance, the relationship between the subject and counter subject I just mentioned. All of this means that the perception of a stable tonal center is constantly undermined and the piece gives more of an impression of what I would call suspended tonality, which is a term that's normally used for late 19th and early 20th century repertory that pushes tonality to its breaking point. Furthermore, Dolan amplifies the dissonance content of the piece by frequently presenting cross-relations, that is, the simultaneous or near simultaneous appearance in different voices of a natural note and one of its altered forms. For instance, F against F sharp or C against C sharp. Indeed, I'd say that Wagner's chromaticism in Tristan und Isolde seems like child's play compared to what Dolent has achieved here. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the performance.